Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. That's right, this is the last episode. We're gonna go fight Mythos and save the world. <laughs> well, you know, I've done everything I need to do. I've done the grade farming I required for myself to do is to get everything I want for the next playthrough. Because the free 1000 grade I'm gonna use, that all of that free 1000 grade is being used on transferring the titles. And I need 600 to transfer over the, uh... EX gems I have carried, and then about 85 more for some tidbit information like Max Combo, which should have given me the 58 Combo title, I have no idea what the fuck happened there. You know, play time, art usage, etc. Stuff that doesn't cost much. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're ready to do this. Alright, dramatic walk. You guys ready for this? Let's go. No turning back now. I just think we'll be back here in five years. Well, some of us will, anyway. Home. I'm going home. Mythos, listen to me. We don't have to fight. Please return the Great Sea to us so that we can reunite the worlds. Home. I'm going home. Something's wrong. He sounds like a puppet. W what? I need to thank you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. I will be bringing you back here in another five years or so after you're resurrected. I'm finally myself again. No, you're not. You will be in five years, though. Damn. So that's what this was all about. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna Mythos? call out right now. I'm just gonna call out right now who's gonna be here in five years. I mean, well, eventually everybody, but okay, let's see. Kratos, Rain, and Sheer, the only ones out of these, uh, oh, and Mythos as well, but those four are the only ones in this scene coming back here immediately in five years. Oh, I'm talking about true. my fanfiction too much, but that's not the point. Uh, in five Just years she will be. In the yeah, crystal. a lot of shit happens in five years. Shut up. That's not living. That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? What? After all, in our bodies flow the bloods of humans and elves, the bloods of those that despise us. You're just upset about the loss of your son. We're better off. Ah, oh, no, he's forgotten about that day for the most part. And become lifeless beings. That's what you really want? Of course. Watch. When you become a lifeless being, you can even control your appearance and growth. No, you. No, you can't. You just ha gained that ability to impress an angel from long ago named Granis. Everyone should become lifeless beings. Oh, I guess I technically gender bended. Because I got the name Granis from Grandia 2. And Granis was a male. Although, granted, I did not know I that. Told you before. The only way to eliminate discrimination is for everyone to become the same race. There will still what be you hate. Hope for? Is nothing but a dream, Mythos. Yeah, I know. Hate is a natural emotion of all things. Discrimination comes from the heart. Damn straight, Lloyd. He's right, Mythos. It's the weakness of people's hearts that causes discrimination. Looking Again. down upon others while placing themselves too high. True words, my elven brethren. You do the same thing. You look down on humans and elves, treating them like cattle. That's the weakness of your heart. Colette, move. You're blocking Sheena's spotlight. Even if people become lifeless beings, nothing will change. Discrimination will continue. Then where should the half-elves go? We aren't accepted anywhere. We opened our hearts, but no one took us in. Where should we live? You can live anywhere you like. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open. Because we couldn't do that. That I... That we wanted a place of our own. But that is not an excuse for the things we have done. It is merely a motive, not a justification. 
What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. Can you feel their pain? People can change, even if they don't change right away. Months, years, as time passes, change is inevitable. Maybe not everything can be forgiven, but one can try to atone for one's sins. Something you'll be doing in five years! Can't you feel it in your heart? What? The goddess known as Conscience. Do you think I'm gonna beg for forgiveness? There is no goddess. So I will continue to pursue my ideals. There will be a self-proclaimed goddess in... Get well, you know where I'm going with this. If there is no place where I can live, and if I've been denied my age of lifeless beings, then the only thing left for me is to build a new world on Daris Carlon. A world just for my sister and me. Alright, people, this is it. There's nothing anyone can do. This is, this is it. Oh. Hey, yeah, that's right, uh. Rain and Kratos have nothing to fear from Mythos's light spells. <laughs> Or Rain doesn't have anything to fear from any spell because I'm pretty sure Mythos can't cast Meteor Storm. Alright, people, this is it. Let's take him down. Follow me. Ready? Super Lightning Blade. Holy Lance. Fire Seed. Hurricane Rush. You ready? Oh, you dick! Rain just got fucking art sealed. Not cool. Not cool, dude. HP, he'll use indignation judgment. He can do that. Me. Nope, I don't think so. Damn it, I missed! Not a chance. 
Well, he can use Time Stop in the PS2 version on all difficulties. That's something of note. Oh, but you pissed off Sheena by doing so. And you do not want to piss off Sheena. Guardian! Get away from me! I summon me! Come, Origin! Every good final boss needs at least two phases. That's another reason I didn't like the ending of Zillia. Zillia only had one final boss phase. Every good RPG final boss needs at least two phases, if not three. Three is great, but two is the bare minimum. The time for, some, for the best music in the entire fucking game. I'm just gonna let this soak in for a second. All right, because this music is fucking boss. Wait for it. Yeah! I'm turning this shit up. Damn it, I forgot you can steal an extra EX Gem Max from Mythos' as second form if you bring along Colette. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Damn, oh, well, I'll make do with just the one. I'm gonna let the music cycle through. Yeah, a bit of a disappointing final boss, and... You know, I remember it being not... I remember the sec the first time we went through this game, the second form was easier than the first. But still, you know, great game. I'm gonna let the music finish playing.
Mythos is... It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. And eventually, I will be taken over by the Crystal. Mythos. I'm tired of playing your game of good and evil. Hurry up and destroy the Crystal. If you don't, Darius Carlon will continue to drift away. Mythos! Do it now. Before I... I'm no longer myself. Lloyd, please, help him! Let him die while he's still himself! All right. Farewell, my shadow. You who stand at the end of the path I chose not to follow. I wanted my own world, so I don't regret my choice. I would make the same choice all over again. I will continue to choose this path. See you around, Mythos. You could have... You could have lived with us in our world. This part really just makes me feel... The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? Restore the true form of our two worlds! I really want to make jokes right now, but I'm refraining from doing so for completely obvious reasons. When the summon spirits go, what the fuck? Shit just went down, bro. Okay, that's gonna be my one thing. Are we back? What's going on? This part right here proves that the summon spirits have their own free will and are able to appear if they choose to. Just saying. What are you all doing? Your wish is granted. But there is no link. Without a link, the land will die. Just as I thought. The world was originally separated into two in order to prevent its destruction. If it returns to its true form, the world lacks the mana to support itself. The land is dying. I don't need to know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? Support the two worlds by linking them with a the giant tree. That is the only way to stop the destruction of the land. We need to restore the giant Carlon tree. I get it. Lloyd, quickly, before Darius Carlon flies off into the distant reaches of space, use its mana to awaken the Great Seed. That's the only way to revive it. 
All right, then. I'm counting on you, Eternal Sword. Deris Kalan is already at the edge of the gravitational field. Not even Yggdrasil. Mythos could stop this from happening. Do you still intend to try? Yeah. Even strengthened by your Exphere, it is likely that your body will not withstand the forces. Are you certain of your decision? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. It's not like we have a choice. Very well. So he's gonna, uh, he's gonna sacrifice himself. He's Luke Fon Fabraing this shit. It's not working. The man is being deflected. The great seed is already dead. Wait, don't go! Please, wake up! Oh, damn! Right here, you could assume this to be either the, ma the mana that Lloyd absorbed from Mythos, or a combination of that and his mother, or whatever. I mean, it was a part of the Angelus project, which was to create Crucius Crystals, so... Either or kind of works. It looks like Darius Carlon stopped moving away. Yeah, but why? The Eternal Sword is gone. sword thank goodness this is my final wish eternal sword please awaken the great seed i beg you please wake up please rise giant carlon tree that picture right there is awesome as balls Now that I'm getting a good look at her again, Martell's kind of cute. Damn you, and no wonder you fell in love with her. of the Great Seed itself. Lloyd, your hope, as well as those of many others, resurrected me. So you're Mythos' sister? No, Mythos' sister, Martell, is only one of the many souls within me. I am Mana, and I am the giant tree. I am the symbol of the many lives sacrificed to the Great Seed. I am a new spirit born to accompany the giant tree. 
And now the seed has awakened anew along with me. form of the giant tree, but right now, it is only a small seedling. In its current state, the tree will wither and die. Well then, how do we protect it? You must provide the tree with love and adoration. As long as those conditions are met, I shall always protect the seedling. I promise, if the tree ever starts to wither, I'll make sure we won't let it die. Then Lloyd, on behalf of all living things, I want you to give this tree a new name, as a proof of the pact. What? The giant Carlon tree was planted here by the elves when they first came, as a guardian to watch over and protect them. This newly reborn tree protects elves, humans, and the lives of all those who are caught in between. Therefore, this tree requires a new name. Lloyd, pick a name for us. A name for everyone's tree. So this tree is the link that connects the world. Okay, I got it. This tree's name is... Nope. But, spoiler, it's Udrasil. I mean, I think we all knew that. For anyone who's played Tales of Fantasia, that's what the giant tree is called in Tales of Fantasia. And, since the entire game's mythology is based on Norse mythology... Well... Yeah. These, uh, side pictures weren't in the original GameCube version, so this is also something new. Well, everyone... That's Let's Play Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Just gotta go through the end credits and the end game cutscene, and we're done. I really appreciate you guys sticking through it with th this long. As to everyone who watched every single bit of every single episode, damn, you must have no free. You must have no life. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with you. But and I really appreciate you sticking with me for the whole uh, copyright claim on the first episode. That was a total load of crap. But uh, nah, whatever. And uh, I hope you appreciated the jokes. I hope you appreciated watching the game. If you don't have this game, buy it. It is exceptional. One of the best RPGs of all time, in my opinion. Of course, a lot, I'm sure a lot of other people think differently, but definitely one of the most regarded Tales of game in the entire franchise. So, uh, yeah. And again, this is the PS2 version, so it's got all the stuff that we didn't get originally back when it first came out. HD graphics. You know, uh, cameo outfits, if that's your sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. Great game. You guys should get it. But, uh, again, thanks for sticking with me. And, uh, after I upload this episode, expect to see, uh, Let's Play Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New Worlds in the near future. Although I'll have to shorten the episode titles if I want it to fit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, recording and playing its sequel. And there will be uh, all new comedic material to make. I'll lose a lot of the comedic material I had this time because a lot of the voice actors changed. The only two voice actors I don't think changed are Colette and someone else. Kratos' voice doesn't change, but Kratos really isn't in the second game, so... But don't worry, we have plenty of replacement material. My god, I won't know where to start with Emil, but I really won't know where to go with Marta. And you all fucking know why. You all fucking know why. <sighs> well, it's been a long, long journey for the Symphonians. And, well, their quest isn't over yet. It's gonna get started back up in two years, and on my fanfiction timeline. And don't worry, it's also alive. That, that, that's something... I took the non-canonical route, as you know, so, uh, Zelos is alive. Did not need to see that! But, yeah, Zelos does live. 
But uh, anyway, and then in my f fanfic timeline, shit gets going three years after Tales of Symphonia 2, and yada yada yada. You know, fan fictions, but believe me, I've tried to stay a stay true to the original plot. The addition of my character not really haven't changed much. But uh, I'm bam I'm rambling now. Game of this music is just overall exceptional. If there's any reason to give something an eleven out of ten, anything by Boy Toy Sakurapa is an eleven out of ten. Feel the pain of those inferior beings as you burn in hell. For saying you look weird when you're smiling like that, it's creepy. I really hope you guys enjoy the Let's Play. 91 episodes, not counting the episode 88 division or the other episode or whatever. I also apologize again for episode 51 and how the sound was glitched up. And as I'm recording this, I really hope nothing's wrong with this episode. And I'm aware that there was also the occasional hiccup in like one episode in the Temple of Ice. Somebody pointed out that, uh, the video jumps a couple of seconds and a joke is missed or something. And, well, there's bound to be recording hiccups, but so long as it's nothing as nearly as major as we had in episode 51. I mean, the occasional sound and uh, video audio hiccup or whatever is alright, but so long as we don't get a repeat of episode 51, I think we'll be fine. I mean, technology. It's bound to fuck up at times, right? <laughs> You know, that'll destroy the world! See you in five years, Mythos. See you in five years. Although, he'll completely lose his, ability, his uh, original form. He'll be stuck in his Eudrassial form. For, uh, reasons. Just because of reasons. Well, you're probably wondering that comment I made about him losing his son. Well, <laughs> yeah. Fanfic plot. Ah, uh, the producer, the mastermind behind the entire franchise. You are doing God's work, my man. You're doing God's work. Grandmother, I'm home. Oh, chosen one. No, Grandmother, I'm not a chosen anymore. Oh, yes. Colette, you have made us all proud. Welcome home, Colette. It's good to be home, Father. So we're gonna stick some shit in the mayor's craw? I see. So, Kratos will travel with Deris Carlon wherever it may go. Kratos! Go back to no, Kratos, no, why? To visit new lands. We are going around the world to try and make it easier for half elves to be accepted. It sounds like you have a difficult journey ahead of you. We can return to Isalia when we're tired. We will always have a home there. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Sheena. I'm so glad you're safe. Congratulations, Sheena. And don't congratulate me yet. A whole new world lies before us now. We have to inform everyone about the revival of the Igaguri style. Yes, and for when Kuchinawa returns as well. Yeah! Come on, everyone. Let's work as hard as we can. You know, now that I think about we it, I haven't even addressed Kuchinawa in my story. To be proud of. Alicia. 
I'm finally myself again. Time is finally starting to flow again from that night 16 years ago. You know what? I'm 28 years old now. Can you believe that? Were you talking with Alicia? Yes. I just got back from overseeing the destruction of part of the mine. Now that that's done, we can rest assured that no new X-spheres will be excavated. That's good to hear. What are your plans now? I'm going to devote the full resources of my company to revitalization projects in order to build a new and better world. You know, I can't help but comment help that you. looks like Perse is staring I'm at sure uh, Regal's abs. Are you really going to Darius Carlon? Don't leave us, Kratos! The half-elf of Crucius remains here. The other half-elves will have no place to live. As a surviving member of Crucius, I must bear the responsibility for what has happened. I'm going to collect all the X-Spheres remaining in this land. And I will discard all of Crucius's X-Spheres into space. Your Lloyd will take about four years or so, Lloyd. I dragged you into this journey. Until the very end. will take about four years it's or okay. so. It's time for me to go. Please use that sword to send us to Darius Carla. Goodbye, Dad. Don't die before I do, Lloyd. My son. Don't go, Kratos! Kratos! Mom, Dad left. That was okay, wasn't it? For me to let him go? It was okay, right? Lloyd, you wanted to go with him, didn't you? No. I have my own path to follow. And Dad has his. And besides, I have a dad here already. I see. And I won't say anymore. Mom, I'll leave Dad's sword here beside you. Well, I'm off. I'm sorry I weren't in the ending, Zelos, but you knew what decision I was going to make. Everyone, once more, wait a minute, where's the save screen? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, once more, everyone, I really want to thank you for watching. It's been real. Stay tuned for Let's Play Tales of Symphonia Dawn, the New World, or we're probably going to be shortened to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia 2 very soon. Thank you so much, people. It's been a pleasure. This is Hatsu Doom signing out. See you around, people. Stay gold.